guys got a Craftsman T2400 lawnmower. I'm going to show you the process. Pull off the mower deck. Um, it's a pretty easy process on this mower. Um, I've done it on quite a few before. I used to do it on my dad's all the time. He had an older Murray uh, lawnmower, and I do, do that one quite a bit. But it uh, is a little bit more challenging. Um, this one's really easy. It's just a few steps. So I'll walk you through the steps here in just a few minutes. So first thing you want to do, you see the lawnmower. You can raise the deck all the way up. Uh, for this one, to take it off, you want to go ahead and lower it all the way down. And the process would be, I usually start on this side. I guess that would be considered the passenger side. Uh, there's just a few pins you gotta pull out. This pin right here. Uh, sorry. And the washer that goes on that one. And just kind of disconnect the, the bar there. I usually set them just up here where my, my feet would rest and kind of put them in order. Like there's the back parts. I'll put the middle parts or front parts here. Um, on the other side, there is actually three areas you have to take apart. Uh, see if I can see the other one here. That's pretty, pretty nasty. Let's see what I can do here to make that. I'm gonna come down this side. way and as you can see there on that one there is no washer I'm just dropping that down out of the way and I probably should have wore gloves <laughs> this thing is a mess we're probably gonna clean it up a little bit too while we're going through this process now we'll move to the other side of the lawnmower um, like I said this one there is really three we have to do two on the sides just like before so this guy we're gonna him down take him off uh, and take the washer move that out of the way come right here well move that out of the way and let me go grab the pin again got back middle and the front one here is actually all the way up here on the front of the mower deck so just move that, take the washer off, kind of push this guy out of the way. And you'll want to kind of get it, just move it so it doesn't get in the way there. And like I said here, I've got the front, the middle, and the back. So now um, you can go ahead and slide the, the deck out. Like I say, I usually try to give myself enough room so i can pull it out on this side you can see i've done this before and i've still got a bunch of mess there i need to clean up so you can't well sorry one more thing you got to do before i get too far into this you got to undo the the belt here so you can move the belt off the little lifts on both sides and then just kind of slip it down so now it is totally disconnected from the lawnmower itself um, the only connection still left between the lawnmower and the deck is the cable. But, so what I do here is just grab it and pull it out enough that I can disconnect the cable. Usually from here, I'll have to um, get this guy enough out of the way that I can. Trying to do this one-handed is kind of difficult here. Let's see if I can set this here and try to... So really, you just need to push down on that little pin and pull it back. So anyway, I know you probably couldn't see that, but I pushed down on that pin with one hand and pulled that back. And that will kind of release the tension there so you can come up here and disconnect the cable. And I do actually have another other video where I show this spring had broken and how I actually, you know, pull the spring off and rebend it to make it work. Uh, I've got a new spring I ordered and it's here, but I haven't, this one hasn't broke again yet, so I'm not gonna replace it. But um, anyway, that's probably coming in the near future. All right, and now we're gonna slide this back under here. Just kinda make sure all the little hang bars that are hanging down are out of the way. 
and we'll just give it a good push. Uh, well, I did forget something. Can't go all the way in yet. I've got to hook up the, the cable first. It's still hanging up here. So I gotta pull it back out just a little bit. So I can get to the cable. And bring the cable around. We're gonna do here where it's gonna go, but we will start by putting it into the if I can reach it here, we'll see. I may have to set this down for a minute. Get the, the spring in the little hole. And now you want to drop the. the oh, not gonna focus. There we go. Put the cable in there and let it kind of click into space. We don't have a lot of room here, but as we push that in, that gives it room that the cable just kind of sits there. All right, let me grab everything together and we'll go ahead in a minute. All right, so we got to get this pushed in here and locked. Really good. So we know right off the bat this has to come up and lock on right there. And if you remember when we took it off, that one did not have a washer. So we'll go ahead and put the pin in there. All right, we're good there. And now we'll move to the back one here. That one slides on. Now this one did have a washer. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not sure you can see what I'm doing there. All right. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and hook up the belt and then we'll hook up the, um, uh, little front piece there. I'm not even sure what it's called. So the belt just goes in the two, um, uh, the two little holders and then slides over. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it goes in this holder and the one on the other side, just like it. And then it just slides up on the pulley. Um, it's very loose. And obviously when you turn on the, uh, engage blade, uh, the knob with this cable that's what actually causes the blades to engage causes that to tighten up all right so we'll put this in here that little piece goes there then we have the washer and the smaller pin that go on this guy and it just not sure what happened um sorry it clicks on there like that so we're good on this side uh, let's go to the other side. You remember here we've got two two pins here. We've got one with a washer into pin and then one with just the, the pin. Alright. Keep hitting the button there. So we're gonna have to adjust a little bit. Make this fit. Uh, the front one goes right there, but it's not one to slide on, of course. So I guess it's good there's no washer because I'm not sure I'll be able to get one on there. Enough to get the pin on there as it is. And I think I have trouble with this thing. This one every single time. It's really hard to do one hit. This. All right, well, that's the goal. But I'm going to push on it and I'll come back in a minute once I'm done. There we go. It is there. Oh, it was a struggle. It always is. All right, now we've got this one last one here. This drops on here and there is a washer and a pin that locks this into place here. And I always have a bit of a struggle with that one too. Just getting the, getting the washer where I can get the pin in there. Maybe let's try going this way. See if that makes it a little bit easier. Hey cat, <laughs> nosy cat. Well, I'm gonna have to do this one with both hands also. All right, I did get this. You know, one thing I noticed, if I flip, this was like on the bottom, I flipped it around and I think that made all the difference and it seemed to go in okay. Okay, so now everything is hooked back up. I will double check. I've got the, I've got the cable connected. I've got the pulley, the belt on the pulley. I've got that connection. I've got the two over here. And I've got the two over here. 
Alright. I think we are good.